What's up, friends? We're creating Lego builds today that can withstand an earthquake. You might want to stay go. back. No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, there it is, there it is. What's up guys? We are in San Francisco today, which is actually a hot spot for earthquakes. And we are joined with a special guest, Eddie. Eddie is a structural engineer. Tell us a little about yourself. So I work every day to design buildings and other structures to withstand the forces you'd expect to see in the real world. Everything from wind forces that push against it or earthquakes that shake your building. Okay, so is that why we have this fancy table here? What's this for? So this is a shake table. What we use shake tables for is to demonstrate what an earthquake would do to a structure. So Eddie, what are some of the techniques we can use to make this a lot stronger for earthquakes? One of them is adding shear walls to a building. Those are walls that we put in our building to add some stiffness and rigidity to it. Another way is through braces. They help us put the earthquake loadings where we want them to go in the building. Science! Another way that we strengthen buildings is by adding dampers, and those are useful in focusing our energy dissipation from the earthquake into specific points that we want. Cool, mm -hmm. so we're gonna try and do that with Lego, but first we need to see what it looks like when and there's none of that. Let's start this first test. Should we step back? Oh. Or Oh. What it's we're working. testing now is a baseline for the Loma Prieta earthquake, which was a, a ground shaking that happened in 1989 in the Bay Area. Sorry, That's not so bad. Much, yeah. It's dancing a little bit. Get some music. Let's cue the music. On. Yep. Oh. Oh. Nick, it's done. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Sorry. Question, can we make this more dramatic? We can take that shaking and we can add scales to it. So we can put a scale of two and that'll double the amount of shaking that we have. Oh. Ah! Hey! Wow. Hey! It can do more. It can actually do more. This is so cool. Yeah, it's. I mean, oh, whoa. man. Whoa. It's still holding up, though. Ooh. Oh, man, this is it. This is it. Oh, it's not. What? We'll see. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is it. Oh, oh no. Nice. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, that's new. Coming out. That's new. Pieces are starting to come out. Level six. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. That's rough. It's all right, level seven, here we go! It's not gonna make it. It's gonna warm up a it's little bit. It's not gonna oh, it's so oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. That's it. There yeah! You know. <laughs> this is what you don't want to happen. So we are gonna be taking your advice yep. and making our structures more strong. Mm -hmm. Let's get to it. Okay, so my technique is using shear walls. Do you have any pointers for how I should build my shear wall? When you think about it, shear walls are pretty much what we're using to add stiffness to our okay. structures. Only these columns are able to give us some lateral resistance and they're really flexible. Okay. So you want to think about where do I want to add stiffness to this? So I'm going to be playing with cross braces and I know that they play a lot with compression and tension. Can mm -hmm. you explain that a little bit more? When we're looking at cross braces, we're also trying to make sure that there's a consistent way for the forces to get from our roof down to our foundation. These braces act as another path for that load to make it down. So I'm gonna be working with a damping system. What should I do with that? So when we think about damping systems, what we're really trying to do is focus that energy that's happening from this earthquake shaking into one place. One place, one place. Just think about where am I trying to provide that focus point for this earthquake shaking to happen. So this is the masterpiece. I call it NAB, Nick's Art Building. I got shear walls in each corner. Eddie, what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. One of the kind of key things we want to remember, force equals mass times acceleration. We're adding a bunch of weight when we're adding these shear walls, and so it is a bit of a balancing act. Let's start at level one. <laughs> Did you do it? Did Just you one second. Right <laughs> I, I, it's all right. Look, give it, give it, it. Oh, there we go. There. Oh, wow. It's, Ooh. Lava it's... Wow. Yeah, so not really moving too much, which is good. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to level seven, where our test building broke. Here we go. You might want to stay back a little oh. bit. Oh. Oh. Immediately. I was not expecting that. Oh man. Where's your, where's your art studio, buddy? I think you may have added too much mass and weight on that one. Yeah, maybe next time I could use less shear walls, make it a little light and more flexible maybe, but... Dimitri's is very flexible. Dimitri's is light, flexible. So let's test this one out. Maybe too flexible. Yeah. Confidence by Dimitri. Level one, here we go. A little... He's dancing a little. He's, hang, he's rocking yep. out though. Flexible, but they're bouncing back. Together. First, first seven, come first, on. First day of school. Steps back over here. Yeah, are you nervous? You step back quite a lot. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 stay together, stay together, stay together. Oh, 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 oh. It 
looked so good for so long. It really did. Uh, what went wrong? I'm thinking better placement of the dampers could have really helped focus where that, those displacements occurred. But we're not done yet. We still have one more, and I am praying that this one stands. <laughs> Level got, one. We gotta get one of them. Let's go. Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. It looks, wow, huh. interesting. It's not moving that much, but it also that looks, looks like pretty stable to me. Okay, Christiana, you don't need to. <laughs> so we are jumping to level seven, and if it holds up, maybe level eight. But Ooh. um, <laughs> Dimitri's so taking a step hand. back, get a little cautious. I'm holding my hand. I'm no, 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 oh. no. That's definitely the closest we've seen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's no competition. I, <laughs> I mean, you don't exactly want this to happen, but good job. Before we, we shake this to its collapse, mm -hmm. let's kind of go back on some of the lessons learned. Looking at the shear walls, maybe too much weight added to the building that made the force a little too high. For the, the dampers, maybe the placement and the configuration could have been a bit more strategic. And then great job on the bracing. It's always good to see uh, that there's ways to get that balance between the two, the weight and the flexibility. And so this looks like it got that job done. Lovely, let's go! <laughs> oh. Goodbye! Oh, oh, going already. Oh, no. No. Yeah. This is still part of a city. Yeah, we got one X. But would you want to be on that? Now, if you're in an actual earthquake, there's kind of three things that we want you to remember. Drop, cover, hold. Drop, make sure you get to the ground if you feel that shaking. Cover, get under a table or a desk, and then hold, wait for that shaking to stop before you go and try to evacuate your building. Let us know in the comments down below what kind of tests you want to see next time, and don't forget to watch more Abriculus. If you like this video, then click one of these to watch some more Abriculus, or click down there to subscribe. And let's just agree that it goes Christiana, mm -hmm. then me, and then Nyx is like the worst. Yes. Worst the best design, I agree.